Welcome to Captive of the Week, a series where we catch a glimpse into the secretive world of onshore captives and how they have used the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act to shift billions of dollars off of their balance sheets and onto yours. This is your host, Jason Shoup, founder and managing member of the Centers for Better Insurance. This week, our captive is 21CF Insurance Services, Inc. This captive exploited the terrorism risk insurance program and the small businesses, churches, and school districts ultimately footing the bill using the same playbook we have seen in previous episodes. 21CF issued its corporate parent several insurance policies, including $1 billion of terrorism coverage for a nuclear, biological, chemical, or radiological attack. This captives seems to have earned about $165 million a year in premium, which would have given it a $25 million TRIA backstop deductible in 2013. Working through the math under the program, the federal backstop picked up $830 million of this $1 billion limit. If we use Treasury's current 40% markup, 21CF's financial engineering exposed the balance sheets of small businesses, nonprofits, local governments, and other commercial policyholders to $1.2 billion in post-event surcharges. We may have become numb to the absurdity of terrorism captives, but it's worth walking through again how it would work if there was a nuclear, chemical, biological, or radiological terrorist attack. 21CF's corporate parent would recover up to $1 billion from its personal insurer with $830 million of the cost picked up by U.S. Treasury. Small businesses, churches, school districts would get nothing from their insurance companies because of nuclear contamination and other exclusions, but they would pay $1.2 billion in surcharges to reimburse Treasury for the money and effort it had expended in paying off 21CF's corporate parent. So who is this proud corporate parent of 21CF? During its first five years, 21CF carried the name News Corporation Insurance Company. That's right, News Corp, owner of brands such as the Wall Street Journal, New York Post, Fox News, 21st Century Fox, and many others. News Corp spun off its 21st Century Fox businesses in 2013. In the separation, News Corporation Insurance Company changed its name to 21CF and tagged along with the 21st Century Fox business. Eventually, 21st Century Fox split itself in half, with 21st Century assets going to Disney and the rest striking out as Fox, with assets like Fox News and Fox Entertainment. Somewhere along the way, 21CF just disappeared. There is no longer any record of 21CF in the New York Department of Financial Services Registry, and no mention of its dissolution or redomestication in the department's annual report to the legislature. Even in the secret world of captives, 21CF's tracks are very well hidden. News Corp still owns the Wall Street Journal, the New York Post, Realtor.com and other assets. After it sent 21CF packing, News Corp set up its own captive with the name NNC Insurance Services, Inc. That's a total black box. We have no idea whether it shifts hundreds of millions of dollars of risk through the program. And U.S. Treasury, the program's administrator, doesn't know either. But we do know News Corp's subsidiaries have published articles and opinions favoring the extension of the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act without any disclosure of its parents' billion dollar interest in the program. You can learn more about the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act and terrorism risk captives at www.betterins.org. On behalf of the Centers for Better Insurance, Thank you for your time.